Hi everyone and welcome to section 5 of this tutorial series. In this section, as you can hear, hopefully the wind in the background, we will be creating our dynamic weather system. We'll be creating our own custom volumetric clouds, we'll be adding wind to our environment. We will also be adding in a system that has timers that, re that change our weather every few hours. We will have variety within our system from fog in the morning to daytime fog to different amount of cloud covers to different types of rainstorms to having lightning or not having lightning to having a delay in how the lightning starts or having a delay in how the rain starts. We'll have a lot of variety. So if I go ahead and I click this button, you can see all the clouds vanish and that's just due to the fact that I'm forcing it to do something that it's not meant to do. But if I hit it again, it's changing cloud systems. So what's happening, by the way, why it's just vanishing randomly is I'm uh, telling the system to restart. And by restarting, it's picking a new weather feature. So we have overcast. I think we're going to get a storm with this one, actually. Notice that our clouds are moving as well. Oh, we're just going to be overcast. We're not getting a storm. Cool. If I hit the button again, yeah, the clouds are going to vanish. But that, again, is due to me telling the system to just restart. Again, we get another overcast. This one is definitely going to storm, I think, because it's a much heavier wind. Hmm. Yep. It's a complete overcast, so it's going to rain. There we go. There's our rain. It's starting slow. It's going to get stronger and stronger. There was an impact, by the way, on the rain. You can see it impacts the ground. If you didn't note, if you haven't noticed, also as it's raining. Let's go take a look over here for a minute. You can see off in the distance, right over there, that the ground, and over here, the ground is starting to look wet as it rains. So this is what we'll be doing in this uh, video. Now I'm going to pause this. By the way, you'll notice the timers aren't working right now. That's intentional. I've turned them off for the section so that I can test the weather system and our day-night cycle. Uh, actually, I wanna, I'm want i going to pause to show you our lightning system. I'm going to guarantee that we get a lightning storm. And then I'm going to show you our sunrise and sunset system. All right, so here we are back in the system. And we now have a heavy rain, like you saw earlier. You can hear the thunder in the distance. I'm going to try to get to a high point so we can see it. Hopefully, I won't get hit by lightning. And yes, we can get hit by lightning, and it will do damage. But we have a thunder and lightning system there. Sorry, uh, it's really hard to sometimes speak over the uh, volume of that. And there is our lightning. Let's see if we can get one more view of it. It's going off over there. And there it is as well. And there's another one. So there is our lightning system. Now I'm going to pause to show us our cloud, or sorry, our sunrise and sunset. All right, so here is the start of our sunset. We have God rays coming through our trees. I'm just going to move over to the western side of our island. And we can see our sun's going to set on the horizon over there. We can see the scattering. I am just going to slow this up for the sake of the record time, and because this is an intro to a section, I'm actually going to slow it speed up a bit more. And when the sun starts getting a bit farther down the horizon, actually, we're also going to keep a watch on the sky. Now I've disabled the weather system just so that we can watch this without any interference. That said, there might be clouds. But we're going to have a day-night cycle. I'm just going to hit slow-mo 1. And you can notice just very faintly, right there, for example, assuming it's capturing my mouse, we are starting to get stars to appear in the sky. And as our sun sets, and yeah, the water is a bit funky looking, but as I said, we'll be updating the water later on. In fact, we'll be doing that in the next section. We can see more stars are appearing. We can see the god rays are changing. There's more scattering and more color in the sky. And there now more stars. So there goes our sun. 
We're going to get a little bit of wind. All right, I didn't fully disable the weather system and I've added clouds in. You can see that the sun is now setting on the horizon and more stars are showing up. We get a nice sort of, you know, change in our color. And I've also we got the flashlight, which I'm now going to equip. And we can see the sun is now going below the cloud line. It's not on the horizon yet, sorry. But it gets smaller and smaller as it sinks into the horizon and our stars appear. Now the reason why I brought our clouds in is as the light fades, our cloud material becomes more emissive so that we can see it at nighttime. And there we go, our stars are now showing up. Yeah, they're a bit pixelated, but that's just due to the free cube map I've used in my construction of said cube map. But, uh, yeah. And as you can see, the light box is updating for the island to match the environment. And there, the emissiveness in our clouds is starting to show a bit. All right. So there's our sun setting. We're going to wait until it's completely behind the horizon. And then I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to wait till right before sunrise to resume. Actually, I thought I'm going to show you. Oh, we have a foggy night. So our night is a bit foggy. So there's our fog system in play. That's why we get that weird scattering. But hey, we have stars. And our island is somewhat visible in the nighttime. Our clouds are visible at night. And now. Let's go and watch our dawn. All right, here we are at our dawn, and you will notice that as we move forward, the sky gets brighter, and as it gets brighter, the stars start fading out. You'll notice that we are getting light refracting off of our, our fog, which gives us a nice aurora sort of effect off the trees, and the stars start fading out, and there is our sun peeking over the horizon slowly rising and the stars are fading out only the brighter stars tend to remain but very quickly you will notice that they will start to leave our sky and so there is our transition from night into day and as the sun rises further as it gets brighter and brighter it will wash away the stars and since there's no light pollution on this map well hey we get you know some stars for a little bit. And I'm just gonna speed up the game clock just a tiny bit here, say to 500, and you can see that the sun is rising. The stars are now completely gone by early morning. And you can see the sun gets brighter as it rises. All right, welcome to section five of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you look forward to setting up your dynamic weather system and day-night cycle.